Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. So we just saved all the children. Now I'm not sure if we're supposed to get out or if we actually have to fight someone. Okay, so it looks like we actually aren't allowed in just yet. So we do have to just leave. So that makes things pretty easy as far as I'm concerned. Let's use a teleport stone. And let's get those kids out of here. Okay. Now if we walk out. Don't worry. We've taken care of all the guards. The shield bearers will be here to take you to safety soon. Thanks, but what about Egil, the new boy? He was taken to the sword bearers' stronghold this morning. We haven't seen him since. Why was he taken away? Egil said something about finding a passage leading out of the mine. He slipped away from his post and was headed there. So he must have been caught by one of the guards. Please, you have to help Egil. Okay, the sword bearer's stronghold, right? I'll go and help Egil. Let's go, baby. The sword bearer's stronghold is a place called Starkford, far to the north. Wait, Tiz. We should leave this to the shield bearers. It would be reckless to venture into the inner sanctum of the enemy by ourselves. But I have to help him. You've been acting stubborn ever since we got here, it seems. I have to help him. No matter what. Yet a little brother. Of course he's going to want to help the kids. I guess he's a little sensitive to that at the moment. You know, I, I don't blame him for that. Okay, so now we run deep into enemy territory to go to the stronghold. Okay, um... Oh yeah, we could probably auto these guys, because they're not that tough. Let's keep moving on here. I just need to make it up to the fort. So go past the sand. We are now on grass. Ooh, that looks like a pretty... You know what, for this one we'll just run, because I don't feel like... Let's go in. Stark Fort. Layer of sh sword bears. I don't say shadow bears, it's not a shadow, it's sword bears. What is that place? A sight to behold, that's for sure. This is where the Civil War started, right? Look, there's a transport ship tied up at the moorings. It looks like they're pooling their weapons and ammunition here for distribution. How are we going to get in? We'll go right in the front door. Don't be absurd. They'll be upon us in seconds. So be it. Our top priority is rescuing the boy Eagle. Mm -hmm. Yo, kid. What you doing, bud? I saw a boy. Okay, so another kid saw another one go in. Okay, this is oh, this is like a weird land layout. This is Stark Fort. Okay, sword bears. Ships bringing in new weapons, ammunition from other realms all come through here. Okay. Ooh, save station. I am a traveling... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What does this kid say first? Uh, okay, I saw a boy his age. Okay, so he's a... I need to talk to this guy. He's a traveling merchant roaming from one journey to the next. Okay, what can we buy? Okay, I feel like this is where we're going to have to spend some money. Magic drain okay i feel like i need to get all of these so that's now we're not gonna have a lot of money for um other things but that's all right we don't really need to buy much of this stuff so it's really just the armory okay that's pretty good um battle mace don't definitely don't need one of those this might be a really good idea because that'll Raise the M attack a lot. 
So let's buy this for a dia. Um, oh, this is good. Two of those, and then maybe two of these swords. That leaves us with a solid in 95 pig. Okay, so now let's go through and put that bad boy on there. That bad boy on there. Okay, I think we're good there. Put the mage's hat there. Oh, and before, we also need to put the charms that we just bought here. What is it, the giant's gloves? And there was something else. Uh, this, like, Okay. Away from the mines. I that's right. Someone came by with a child and told her that they said they caught the brat loafing. What did you just say? You're most likely going to trip. Don't get careless. Okay. Okay. Let's save, and I think we're ready to continue here. We have no peak in our pockets, but we have some slightly better equipment, I think. Slightly better. Okay, Stark Fort. Wonder what kind of enemies we have in here. Okay. Just a little dead roundabout. Where could they be holding the boy prisoner? We'll have to search the place from top to bottom! Let's not be rash, Tiz. Rushing around blindly will only wear us out. Why don't we see if my journal has any leads? It might point us in the right direction. You can't expect it to have every little detail. Hold on. I've found something. Notes on the layout of occupied Starkfort. I guess I can expect every little detail, Idea. The notes show a war room to the north of here. The west is marked poison. That can't be it. That just leaves east. Let's head that way. But I kind of want to check out the rest of the place. So... Faltering foreknowledge. Hmm. I can smell the smoke rising from that little rain eater's ringer bell. I'm at a loss. The writing in my journal are completely off the mark from what's happening. How can that be? Now that you mention it, what did it say again? The fat one and the weakling make the brat squeal by torture? What torture? Don't get up ahead of yourself, Tiz. My whole point is that the contents of the journal have missed the mark. So what you thought was ironclad prophecy all this time maybe isn't so ironclad. Sounds like a crisis of faith to me or the crisis of super superstition, I suppose. We, we should be so lucky, but I feel the journal's failure to predict the future does not guarantee the child's safety. Hey, that's right. He could be facing even worse than torture. We have to know for sure. Let us hurry, right? Okay, so this is going to be a little weird, but just for the sake of I actually really want to explore the rest of this place. Let me go ahead and turn the encounter right down. Because if I'm going to grind, I'm going to grind elsewhere. I'm not going to grind here. So I just really want to grab everything. High potion. Okay, so north. The war room, which we can't get in at the moment. East is where we're supposed to go. And west was the room marked as poison. Well, I want to go to poison first. So let's see what's in here. Nothing? Okay. Dead end. Okay, thousand pig. Wait, oh, I should have saved. Poison is a side quest. We probably find uh, the salve maker here. It only gets worse. Okay, well then let's go ahead and save here. And let's go fight the side quest while we're here, right? Might as well. Yeah, it's the... It's that guy. After all the glory I brought them, he begged me off to the boondocks to patch up wounded soldiers. All's fair in war, I say. Victory 
must be achieved at all costs. That is what war is all about. <laughs> Show respect for the enemy. The goal is not simply to kill. Ah! He's far too old to spout such childish nonsense. Pride and honor are merely shackles on the battlefield. <laughs> oh no! Has the Swordmaster disposed of the Master Sample at Grab Keep as well? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. He always was a hard headed one. Fine! We could have wiped out the shield bearers with it by now. There is nothing else for it. I must develop a new toxin. I have plenty of test subjects here after all. Surely no one will miss a few dozen wounded soldiers. <laughs> it's evil, bruh. When my new toxic weapon is ready, I'll go around that Swordmaster and battle my wares to the Eternian forces directly. Or we could just kill you right my now. My father knew of your deeds. That fat neck of yours would be for the axe, you know. What? Who, who is that? My name is Adia Lee. Adia Lee? You... you mean to say... Uh, you are the Grand Marshal's daughter? I've heard more than enough of your plotting, you black-hearted fiend. Prepare to die! Be quiet! The words of a traitor like you mean nothing! Oh, well, they're not gonna mean anything to you if you're dead, so... This guy's harder than I thought. Okay, um, let's try it again, I guess. Man, so I looked up the amount of HP he has. He has uh, 40,000, so yeah, it's, he's pretty hard. He's pretty hard. I guess let's try it again, though. I'm going to just keep trying it until I make it, right? I guess we got nothing else to do. Let's go ahead and use our specials. We can do the that. We can do the piercing bolt. We can do the ascendant palm and the piercing bolt. And this should do about 10,000. So this will be 25% of his total HP. So we've got a little damage to do after this. But hey, at least this is some easy damage right off the bat. You know, 10k is 10k. His physical defense gets a little lower, you know, after these. We'll definitely try to have to do as much damage as humanly possible in the beginning. Because the longer we keep him alive, the actually worse it is. And if you guys are wondering where my S power went, I used it last fight to try to get out of it. And it didn't work very well, so... Hopefully I won't need it for this fight. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and... So it's around 12k right now. Um, let's go ahead and use... Man. I guess we can just use a Fira on him. We're gonna use a Wave, in case he defaults. And then with this, let's go ahead and use a Cure on everyone. Okay, he didn't default, which is good. Got everyone a little healed up. Let's do the same thing. A Stomp. Fira. The Wave. And a cure, I think. This is probably good like this. Another poison high potion. Another cura. Okay, another thousand. Let's keep doing the same thing, because right now this is working out pretty well. He's defaulting. Can't default past that, buddy boy. Fira. So he will take a little less damage because of those. But that's okay. I wonder if I can reflect his big move. This is this might be stupid, but I feel like trying it. Um, let's default. Who, who is the biggest? I think I'm the biggest, right? So let's default. Let's use wait. No, he's not with it. Then honestly, I think the best option is just default. Default. 
Default and default, and let's hope we don't die from this. This is gonna definitely hit for 999, but hopefully he he won't hit the rest of us pretty hard. Okay, that wasn't terrible, honestly. Let's go ahead and just use another Fira. We can use uh, a. We could probably do a hidden dragon this time, and then we could brave just once. Use a raise on Tiz. And then use a Kira. And I think we'll be good just like that. I'll prob I'll need to heal Tiz a bit more out of that death range. But I need to make sure Ringabell's alive. If he uses that water, I need to be able to um cleanse him to make sure he can't regen. Kira. Let's do another let's do a wave, because I'm i I'm feeling you know what? I think he is going to default. So you know what, I'm going to take initiative and default myself here. Use the wave with Anya since she can get past it. And use another cure here. He didn't default, okay. That's surprising. Okay, killed Tiz again, which is not good. Let's go ahead and use a Phoenix. With Anya, I'm going to go ahead and do another wave. And let's go ahead and get a heal on all allies. He defaulted. Nope. Okay, I was hoping Adia would go first, but I'm dumb and I know for a fact she never goes first. Let's use a X potion on myself. Let's use a Fira. Let's use another... Another wave, I guess. And then... Hmm. Let's see. I guess. Shall mm -hmm. really do what? Just for the future, I'm gonna go ahead and default with Ringabell. So Ringabell will be able to bring someone back. Okay, Agnes gets Agnes is the one that gets hit. Don't hit Tiz. Mmm, hit Tiz. Okay. Well now Quada's gonna be in a little bit of a slump for a while. I'm gonna use Piercing Bolt. This sucks, I'm gonna have to use a little bit of I haven't been keeping track of the numbers either, so I hope that everything that I'm thinking is going on is going on here. He might... Is he going to default? He didn't default. Okay, but I... I okay, don't kill, please. Okay. Let's go use... Let's use... a you know just want to use a raise with. Ringabell should go first here. Ringabell, and then Tiz can use the high X potion. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna stomp. I'm gonna use a lot of Furas here. And then maybe just a piercing bolt. Oh, why does he go first? Okay, honestly, that's not terrible. That kind of sucks a little bit. But we have Ring a Bell here, so that's fine. And that gives us a move to actually heal everyone up, so that's t that's okay. And this gives us a little bit of time to actually start We need to we need to keep that damage going, you feel me? He's got 40k. We've got a bit to chip through, so we have to get it moving. Okay, let's do one. Um crap. You know what the Ring a bell goes first because he's a bit faster. So he'll raise both people. And then with her, we'll do the X potions. And now Adia is a little bit left in the dark here. I don't want to chant Water of Life. Okay, that's perfect. Ring a bell will get rid of that next turn here. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and use the Piercing Bolt. We're going to do a wave. And with a ring a bell. We're going to go ahead and just brave once. We're going to use Dispel first. And then we're going to do a Cura in case he does anything funny here. Get, get that default out of here. Okay, that's perfect. Piercing Bolt. Okay. Did we do it? That was clean. That was clean. We almost did that fight without a hitch. That was clean.
You absolutely love to see it. Those two fights were a disaster, but we did it. We fought him a few times, learned his routes, and we got him. The Salve Maker Asterisk. Uses items to maximum effect, uses items to heal and attack. This could this could be a fun person. The Salve Maker could be a fun person to use. No! It cannot end here! I have left so many experiments undone! My <coughs> toxins could kill you in seconds. <coughs> Festal Later, bud. Yeah, your toxins can do a lot, except save you, apparently. Organizing items. Now that we have the salve maker asterisk, it should let us heighten the performance of our items and combine items to make them more powerful as well. Hmm, that sounds handy, but not very exciting, is it? I know, right? Far too humdrum for us. In other words, you two are too lazy to organize your items. No, we're not lazy. There are simply other things we'd rather do. It's all fine and dandy to have acquired the salve maker job, but your item bag bags are a jumbled mess. It must take forever to find what you need. For example, idea, don't keep your potions with your high potions. What? They're both restorative, so why not? And you ring a bell. Don't lump antidotes, echo herbs, and wake up bells together. Why not? Together they're like a cure-all. What if you only need one of them? You'll never find it in time. You should learn from Agnes's organizational skills. Ah, but Agnes, there's no need to keep each of your pills separately. Oh yes, of course. Tis you and Agnes are sure sticklers for detail. Idea and I, on the other hand, well, teach our own, right? That's right. Don't sweat the details as my... No, Idea, sneeze the other... Achoo! Way, you just sneezed away all of the powder items. Well, that means fewer items to organize, right? Let's go. Fair enough. I'm thinking maybe I should just like run back and heal. Run back and heal real quick. I think I should. It's a little bit of time. I think I'm just Ooh. What's going on? Did I should I have saved? That was close. I made the right call drinking that concoction to fake my death. It seems the Vestal was convinced of my demise. <laughs> The world is indeed full of fools. <laughs> now, it is time I left this wretched place. So you flee again, do you? But, but of course, I do what I must to survive by any means necessary. As long as I survive, I am confident my fortunes will be reversed. <laughs> After all, who but I can create weapons with the power to kill tens of thousands in one fell blow? <laughs> and once I am ready, I will obliterate you all, the sword bearers and shield bearers, the Vestal, and even the Black Blades! And, and then, the world shall be! Do you really want to say that in front of him? Mine? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Not the world of the living. How can you be that stupid? Haha, ha, I'm gonna kill everyone, including you, by the way. Why would you say that to him? He's just gonna kill you. He's so stupid. Okay. Um, that's okay. So, let's go. I'm gonna go back and heal.
Okay, everybody. So, um, real quick, I guess let's take a look at the town. Okay. Um, is can I further upgrade? Ooh, okay. So I can, you can go past ten. Okay, let's put this at like what four hours. This one's almost done in a couple seconds. You know what? So I'm gonna wait out that couple seconds. Looks like a lot of these. How much do we got? Like 30, 30, an hour, hour, two, hour, four, four. Okay, so we're almost done with everything, really. Um, and then obviously we'll have to redo all the villagers, put them in their proper places. But yeah, we're moving, we're moving along with this village pretty well. All right, got eight more seconds. I'm just literally just gonna sit here and wait it out. No reason not to. I want to make sure you know my villagers are working if they possibly could be. Okay, let's put all of them we have in there. Three hours, sounds good to me. Let's move inside. And we took care of the left side with the poison guy. Now we can go up the right side and see what's over here. Okay, oh, I thought I was on the other side of the map. I accidentally went back down. Up we go. Okay, let's see what's over here. Chest. Ice brand. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that any good? Is for tis? Um, no. It's actually not any better. Okay. Fair enough. Hey! There he is! Are you alright? Uh, who are you? You're safe now. We'll get you out of here. So you're Agor, huh? Uh, that's right. Who are you? We've come to help you. Really? I, I was going to see the fire vestal. What was that about the fire vestal? Let's talk later. We have to get him to safety first. Let's do that. Okay, and uh, let's do this quick part of chat. Rescuing Egil. Egil. Whew, I'm glad to know he's safe. Indeed, and he owes his safety to your bold action, Tiz. Bold and foolish, I, su I should say. I cannot deny that it was right to save the boy's life, but you have a higher calling, Tiz. The crystal's awakening hinges in part upon you. Speaking of which, just what do you suppose his connection to the Fire Vestal was? Sleeps. He's out cold, not that I can blame him after all. Hey, wake up, kid. You're, you're our one clue. Hey! Ares, stop that. At least let him rest until we arrive in Heart's Child. True. Okay, guys. Um, but I think I will be ending the episode right here. So, um, can I just take him out? Is anyone going to stop me? Anyway, I'm still going to end the episode off right here. So, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.